Location we're going to yes. is sort of private and clandestine yes. for me to get to without people knowing. Okay. So initially on the majority of the journey, I'd like to blindfold you. So that no one can hold me hostage and make yeah. me tell them. Exactly. Okay, let's do it. Okay. Peter, who's asked us to withhold his last name, is not a serial killer. He's a yoga instructor, life coach, and a prepper, bracing for a no-deal Brexit. We're on our way to one of his secret spots where he plans to ride out the post-Brexit apocalypse. He wouldn't have been so afraid if Parliament hadn't been so indecisive. Today, the EU voted to delay Brexit again, moving the deadline for departure from this Friday to October 31st. You know, regarding Brexit, you know, if, if the whole system failed and you just had to get away yes. for whatever reason, then this would be an example of where I'd come. But... Oh, lovely. But ordinarily, you'd be doing this on your own. Yeah. Look at that. A pop-up tent. Yeah. Did you vote to leave the EU? Yes. I believe in individual countries' cultures. I love Europe. Europe's fantastic. But maybe not it being run under one totalitarian type of government, if you want to call it that. Regret it? <laughs> Talking to you now is weather, maybe. But weather is the least of Peter's worries. He's packed supplies to survive a full-scale descent into chaos in his suburban home. So this is your garage, but instead of a car, we have got some kit. I've got a mode of transport, two canoes, inflatable canoes. What? I got these specifically made to my design and specifications, and there are only two of them of their kind. I've got a two-burner stove there right. in the green container. I've got fuel backup. I've got large cooking pots if I had to do groups of people for cooking. Then tarps, different tents. Can you describe what you think is going to happen? Can I just... Just putting the glasses on. Yeah, this is going to be really Serious. important stuff now. If I can just read you okay. the um, contingency. Of, this is from the government. This is what the most extreme situation of Brexit, OK, is transport systems they're concerned about, people crossing borders, UK food and water supplies. Water supplies? Why is that? So it's interesting to look into why they're concerned about water supplies being affected. It doesn't really make sense, but there's got to be a reason for them to actually anticipate that. Law enforcement implications. What does that mean? Now, using my imagination, you're opening the doors to then go, there's all these things that... We just would have thought, oh, it's just crossing borders and whether it yeah, affects, yeah. you know, getting medication from Europe into this country. There are other things which are actually the mainstay and fundamental foundation of just society ticking over in general. Then people that weren't into prepping are taking that sort of mindset and attitude because of Brexit. And that's what I think stimulated it for a lot of people. Peter isn't an outlier. So many people are freaking out about Brexit that helping them prep is now a cottage industry. We're driving through the north of England to visit a man who's selling something called a Brexit box. Brexit boxes contain enough freeze-dried food to feed one person for 30 days. This may sound like some kind of a joke, but while the government's telling everyone to keep calm and carry on, at the same time, they've also employed somebody called a food supplies minister, which we haven't seen the likes of since wartime. James Blake founded emergencyfoodstorage.co.uk a decade ago before Brexit was even a twinkle in David Cameron's eye. And although we were allowed to use our subject's full name this time, we weren't allowed to give his location and had to shoot in a showroom he set up especially for media. So here it is, the infamous Brexit box. That's right. So this has 60 main meals, plus an additional uh, 48 meat products, so things like ground beef and diced chicken, so you can create your own food. So if you add both those together, you've got about over 100 meals in the box. The food is freeze-dried, so they last for 25 years. So it's absolutely ideal for emergencies. How much does a Brexit box cost? Nearly 300 pounds or, I don't know, what's that would be? $400 roughly, I guess. The price is steep, but that's not why his overall business is slow. The very threat of Brexit is hurting Blake's chances to sell to paranoiacs all over Europe's single market. Brexit is a terrible idea for our business because we operate within the UK and Europe. You know, we sell our products all, all over Europe. That being said, I did vote for Brexit and I would do it again. 
long term, it's a good idea, but we're going to suffer short term for that. <laughs>